horses making the decisions on what to spray where, mm. they don't know. You know, they get told, they get dictated. Like, oh, there's some invasive plants here. But most of them are medicines. Mm. Most of them are foods. So if we learned actually to change our diet from plants that require extreme amounts of fertilization and extreme amounts of water, which we don't really have, mm. versus plants which don't require any fertilization or water and grow there perfectly fine and actually are extremely healthy for you, you know, that would be the thing that should probably be in Whole Earth. Whole Earth Center should be selling garlic mustard, mm. which is an invasive plant that's a big problem and we don't know what to do with it. And it screws up habitat. And it's free! And it's growing in a backyard near you. This is amazing. Does anyone like spicy food? Sure. This is called smart weed. And it tastes like habanero peppers. Can I try it? Whew. You can. <laughs> so, uh, have like, oh, a, like a, yeah. little yes. Just, a little bite. Just a little bite. There's several in the smart weed family. Uh, polygonaceae, so polygonum. So many joints. Polygonum, also some people say. So see the joints like bamboo? Polygonaceae. So there's a lot in this family. Uh, not all of them are spicy like this. So they call it smart weed, I guess, because ow, that smarts, like from the 50s, or like leave it to beaver time. <laughs> they would say like, that smarts. And so that's really spicy. I mean, that's got a good kick to it. So you can use that in a way that's not foolish, <laughs> like us putting raw leaves in our mouth and chewing it. Um, so definitely, definitely spicy. Um, but not all smart weeds are spicy like this. Um, some of them are just bland vegetables. So, so this is garlic mustard. Um, it's really just a great vegetable. We should be eating as much as we can. The root um, is horseradish, basically. So you can make like wasabi, and it's also spicy. The leaves are also edible, so you're welcome to try it. It tastes like garlicky mustard, so it's very pungent. So just make sure you know what you're getting into if you put some in your mouth. It's got a very pungent taste, but very mild once you uh, cook it. It doesn't taste at all like this. Of course, raw is the, the most pungent. They took all the good roots, really. Wow, that's good. So that's everyone's homework, to find all the garlic mustard they have on their property. Um, so how you would really tell it was garlic mustard, there are other leaves that look this shape, um, but the leaves, and then if you dig it up, if you pull it up and the root, if everybody smells that root, just wasabi, straight wasabi up the nose. Yeah. Yeah, you could. You might get some grit, like oh. your teeth. Whoa! That oh. opened your sinuses, though. So the medicinal aspects of garlic mustard. Um, so you can do a lot with garlic mustard, and the more you eat it, the more you're helping invasive plant management.